Hi, I'm Gazza. In this episode of Home Robotics, I'm going to show you how to make a catapult. So for this project, you'll need the plans, of course, 5mm MDF, 12mm ply, thin steel wire, dowel, a large skewer, and a small skewer. And from now, what we'll do is we'll actually transfer the plans onto the MDF wood. Right, so the next thing we'll do is we're going to line up the two frames and then drill a five millimeter hole through them. Hey. While we work on a throw arm, we'll just glue the trigger mechanism. Right. Okay, so we have the throw arm lever and the throw arm itself. So we're going to jam that in there and glue it. At the same time, we're going to put this screw on this other cut over here and then supply a copious amount of resin and glue so it can secure it in. So now you can, of course, drill a very small hole, but you do risk the chance of splitting it, so it is probably the safest way. So there's the uh, base plate and the frame all glued together uh, along with the uh, trigger mechanism. We'll need to drill a 5mm hole through the trigger mechanism, through the gap. Just cut a piece of the axle. The glue's all dried. My son had his little shot at his artistic design here. So a bit of super glue from some random places. We'll clean that up later. All that's left to do is secure all the main parts with screws. Just add some more reinforcement to the frames. And then place another screw eye in here. And that's where we'll attach the, the two elastic bands. We'll also secure the axes with two paper clips. And then we will install the pouch that will carry an actual payload and then we have the uh, firing mechanism. This side will be sitting in here with this acting as a trigger.
Okay, so now we have a way to reel it back. And this will be a trigger mechanism. It's just a skewer secured to a small block of wood. And then to prime it, pull it back, insert the trigger. And when you're ready to release, you just pull it and they'll spring in action. And I've managed to secure all the main parts with screws. That way we know they won't come off. So it's mostly complete. We've got the uh, payload carrier mounted. I'm going to put, and then from here we put uh, an elastic band or two between these two hooks. And you can use as many rubber bands as you want. To start with one for now. There you go. That's held in place right now. And when you want to release the object, stand to the side. Yeah. All right, so we have our elastic band powered catapult ready to go. We have the frame, the axle, the throw arm lever, the throw arm itself, and the bit that carries whatever payload you want to launch. In this case here, I've got two rubber bands, the hook on the throw arm and a hook on the base. On the other side, we have the wire, which will allow me to secure it to the trigger mechanism. You trigger it by pulling the little skewer out. I think we're ready to give it a shot. And my son's going to demonstrate the uh, use of this catapult. And you can of course uh, fine tune it by adding more rubber bands or changing the location of where you want to put the payload and also by varying the uh, weight of the payload. Uh, having said that, it's uh, still fun to play with. Make sure you just stay away from the part of the lever on, otherwise uh, you'll find yourself with a, a big skewer in your face. I uh, really hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you want to see some more videos, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching.